Hey, welcome to Voice. My name is Kim, and I'll be guiding you through our DIY tutorial how to add an IVR. Before I show you how to set up your IVR, um, it's important to note that you'll need to uh, record and upload the various messages you require to Freedom First. For instance, uh, uh, the welcoming message that plays when somebody first calls your business line, or the message that plays when a caller makes an incorrect selection. You'll have to upload those here in messages under admin before they become available. So let's get going. Also under admin, we click on IVR and add. Consider the pricing and if you're happy, approve. Let me give it a name. I'll just call this one main IVR. Timeout is the amount of time allowed for a caller to make a selection. Um, I'm happy with that uh, being, um, ugh, let's just keep that as 10 seconds for now. I think that's fine. The maximum attempts is the amount of times a caller can make a wrong selection before another step is activated. I'm just going to leave that as three. Um, start message is your welcome message. This will be something like dial one for sales, dial two for support. So let's select uh, the welcoming message um, you would have uploaded earlier. I already uploaded one, so I'm going to select that. And then the incorrect message is, of course, what plays when somebody makes a wrong selection. And then uh, timeout message uh, is the message that plays if somebody doesn't make a selection at all. And we set that to occur after 10 seconds earlier. So let's save. Now we need to go add our um, IVR to our dial plan. Dial plan, of course, being where you set what happens when somebody calls your number. I'm going to select the main number over here because that's what we're setting up. Now an IVR needs to be added as the first step in your dial plan. Um, you can add it to your current dial plan as is, but this can become quite confusing when setting up your IVR keying options in the next step. I would therefore highly recommend first emptying your current dial plan unless um, you're very comfortable in freedom. So I'm just going to go ahead and empty this dial plan out first so we can start setting it up systematically with our IVR as our first step. Now let's find our IVR on the drop down menu. So we're going to select that and select our main IVR and save. Next you're going to get a few if this then that rules under options. Um, I'm going to just edit that. Um, let me just click that, edit. We have to set what number a caller must key in to get to the next step. I'm going to put one over there. So now if they push one, they'll go to the next step. And in this case, I want uh, John's extension to ring when a caller keys in one. So I'm just going to select John's VoIP account here. Uh, there we go. And John. And we want his phone to ring for, say, 60 seconds and save. Now I can almost uh, already imagine the welcoming message will be something like dial one for John, dial two for Jack. So I'm gonna just go and add that step in there for Jack and let me just save that. And I'm gonna have to edit that and select his uh, VoIP account or his extension. VoIP account and let's find Jack. There we go, Jack. And we want his phone to ring for let's say 60 seconds or so and save. Now if a caller dials one, they're gonna to go to John, and if they dial two, they're gonna to go to Jack. As a final step, we wanna set up what happens when a caller doesn't make a selection after three attempts or 10 seconds. Uh, maybe we want them to go automatically through to John's extension. So let me put that in there. Um, VoIP account, and I'm gonna select John. And then I want, yeah, his phone to ring, say 60 seconds is fine, save. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess that's it. That's a very, uh, very basic IVR setup. Um, a caller calls in, they're going to get a welcoming message. They're going to have to dial one for John or dial two for Jack. And if an invalid selection is made or no selection is made within 10 seconds and after three attempts, the caller gets automatically put through to John's extension. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, do let us know. We're always happy to help.